To demonstrate to you how affinity chromatography works, Claire and Ed have cloned a histac in front of a GFP protein so we can actually follow the whole process in this little movie. But first let's see a time lapse of one of these um, IMAX separations. Follow the green fluorescent protein and try to figure out what is happening in each step of this separation. Now that went really fast and we will look at this again. But first what did you see and what did you not see? You did see as if by magic that the green color was first on top of the column, then it bound to the upper layer of the column, was eluted through the column and then appeared in some of the wells of the 96 well plate, which was a sample collection device in this case. What you didn't see that at the beginning of the run while the GFP material was binding, it was also washed. So all the proteins that were not GFP were eluted from the column before the GFP was eluted. So this washing step is obviously very important, otherwise you will never enrich your GFP protein. Now let's look at this again, this time slightly less accelerated. The GFP histac containing lysate is loaded onto the column, filled up with loading buffer several times. This also washes away all proteins that do not bind to the column. Now the elution starts with the elution buffer. You can see the bund migrating through the column and appearing in the fractionation. Let's look at this affinity chromatography again, this time with some breaks. Get pen and paper ready and you can uh, write down some annotations and describe what you're observing. You might also want to use your handbook and compare what you see in this video with what is described in your handbook about the affinity chromatography. Well, I hope you find this description and the visualization of the affinity chromatography helpful. 